It's very exciting to see small children uh, coming to the farm when they discover a strawberry under a leaf. I'm Robin Hetherington. I'm partner in BNR Farms with my husband uh, Boots Hetherington. Uh, we've been in operation uh, at at uh, BNR Farms since 1982. However, the farm has been in uh, my husband's family since 1842, so it's a long, a long legacy. Uh, my children are the seventh generation of farmers at this location. We're primarily known as strawberry farmers, and uh, it is about a three percent of our crop. Uh, mix, but because it is agritourism and open to the public, that is what most people know us as. And um, we do uh, carry insurance on our strawberry crop, um, but our primary crops are corn and soybeans. We have buy-up coverage on those two crops, uh, but we additionally have hay, peppers, cucumbers, uh, asparagus, and tomatoes. Strawberries are extremely weather dependent. Um, you can have some of the finest looking uh, blossoms and berries out there in the world and suddenly see uh, frost that will take them down in one night. You pray for evening rains and s nice warm sunny days. I think my greatest satisfier is to see my children uh, prosper here on the farm. To see them to see my children prosper on the farm, to see them come back and work with me day in and day out. I mean, we were, uh, we all worked together in the strawberry field and managing the public and managing. When we have a particular weather or emergency uh, at this house, it's the call is all hands on deck. It's it's pretty exciting to see that kind of discovery, to see that kind of teamwork, to see the kind of uh, uh, hard work and values that we're able to install in all, in all our, our children, but in the people that work for us. You know, we've always included our kids in every decision that we've made. Um, we help them understand what economics, uh, what the economic value is in the decisions we've made, and hopefully that come the day that uh, uh, we're ready to move on, that they will ha at least have their feet on the ground and know where we're going. Uh, my name is Morgan Hetherington. I am the second daughter in Boots and Robin's clan, and I am the next generation to farm. Hoping to open a winery as another part of the production on the farm. One of the best parts about fruits is they can be, they can have the highest turnabout with profit, but you get one good hailstorm, you get one solid frost, and it can wipe out the entire production. I am excited, but I have to I have to be very careful about the ways I go about it. It's going to take a lot, but going into that, I'm not as afraid. And having crop insurance, having these plans in place already, having everything mostly established, I'm not as afraid of it. I, pl I play the hand I'm dealt today, and uh, I deal with whatever I have to deal on a daily basis, uh, whether it is a uh, change in ownership of the business, whether it is the addition of of children or uh, son-in-laws or um, today's weather emergency. I don't spend a lot of time worrying about it. We just go with the flow and move on. Well, it's necessary to have crop insurance to participate with, with other state uh, program so that's kind of a no-brainer but we do have buy-up insurance for our corn and soybeans at 65 percent uh, we participate uh, with the NAP program which is a blanket program for our other crops um, if strawberry uh, insurance was offered uh, in our county we'd certainly purchase it but it's not um, so you have to have a hundred percent loss pretty near to really realize anything out of it, but it is there in the corner of your mind thinking, well, okay, so it's not a total bust. Um, there is something coming along, but definitely it pushes you to um, maintain good records and to uh, keep track of your inputs and outputs and uh, so you know what you've done for the year. I love everything about it. I really do. Growing up, we all joked about why couldn't we be lawyers' daughters and not wake up at 8 a.m. to go pull weeds and, and go work with Dad and that kind of stuff. But to be totally honest, if I was a lawyer's daughter, I wouldn't be able to handle most of the things that I've had in life. And I greatly appreciate everything I've learned and everything I've done.